In this video, I will discuss the help and training section of Salesforce and also how to contact support when you have a question. Before you seek support for any questions you have regarding issues or roadblocks that you encounter in Salesforce, you can visit the help and training section to see if you can quickly find the answer to your question. Click help and training from the top right corner of the page and then you'll be taken to the help and training center. From here you can type keywords for the help you are looking for in the top search bar. For example, you can search adding contacts and you will see that there's some suggestions that come up and that's just an example if you wanted to find more information about adding contacts in Salesforce you could search that way. You can also learn more about Salesforce and various features by going to the get started section right here and just clicking the go button and this this is a great section for beginners to go to learn more about how to start using Salesforce. Other uh, helpful sections here in the Help Center include the success community where you can engage with other users, the documentation portion where you can browse help videos and walkthroughs, um, the training and certifications where you can be certified in Salesforce topics, and then technical support is where you go to actually contact someone in Salesforce to help you. And then um, if you scroll down more, there's also another way to get to the trailhead section, which we discussed in an earlier video. So if you want to contact um, technical support, you can click the go button here in technical support. And then it'll try to help you out with your question first before having you contact somebody. But if you absolutely know you need to contact, um, someone from Salesforce, you can click the contact us right here. And then you'll kind of need to say what it is that you need help with if it's general Salesforce functionality or um, if there's a feature that needs to be activated, something wrong with the analytics, then you would choose that. And then you would be able to um, write kind of like in an email of what your issue is and the turnaround. And the turnaround for that is 48 hours. So within two days, you should get a response from Salesforce support.